Good morning, YouTube mine exploring enthusiasts. Tom and Julie here. Here's Julie. Good morning. She's looking good. <laughs> it's a little breezy here today. Look at the beautiful uh, hills with all the minerals in them. All kinds of different mines in this area. In fact, in this general area, there's everything from turquoise to lead, silver, gold, um, tungsten, and uh, mercury or cinnabar. So all those mines are present, all those minerals are present in this area. Once again, we ditched the Jeep and we're on foot. We got about a half mile to go to the mine that we're after today. The old Jeep just wouldn't bounce over any more rocks. I think they've had a lot of rain here over the summer and this road is washed out pretty good as you can see right here. Looks like there was a trestle here and probably an ore bin. This is probably part of the ore bin. I think Julie's up by the portal. There's the portal. It's partially eroded, not too bad. There's a jumble of stuff out here. Uh, looks like it may have been a small building of some sort. There's a lot of rail, and the rail would have crossed the wash and gone over to that trestle and then to dump the waste in the mine dump across the wash there. Julie's checking for snakes. The snakes are still out this time of year. This is September. It's about 80 degrees today, at least, I would say. It's really warm, so the snakes will still be out. That's the portal we just came through. We're headed this way. I think Julie's already got her eye on a cat print. I didn't see it, but I don't doubt her. There's some old track in here. It looks like there's been some mud, which is now dried and cracked. Looks like the track's been removed here. There's a box of peaches. Yellow cling peaches. Track picks up again here in a minute. I can see past Julie. Mine's in pretty good shape in general. Looks pretty cool in here anyway, temperature wise. Feels good. There's some somewhat modern paint in here from the surveying and assessment work, I suppose. Here's a curve in the track. Peek over there. Okay, peek over there then. Looks like it doesn't go very far. Maybe not. Let's see. No. That's it? Yep. Okay, just a short side cut or cross cut if you like. Maybe they were searching for the vein and realized that it took a right. So that's where we're going. Oh, I see a bat hanging there. There he is. Stay there, little buddy. I won't bother you.
Another short cross cut to the left. Track's in great shape. It could still be functional with some minor repairs here and there. Coming up to a wooden ore chute. Oh, and a ladder. Big junction here. This is the lucky number one. Oh, wow. Look at that. This, this was a skip ladder or a skip track, but they, somebody has turned it into a human ladder about 20 feet down because the rungs are on top of the, where the skip rail would be. And there's some heavy timbering down there, about maybe, oh, I don't know, 70 feet. Let's look around a little more here. This is a th three-way junction. Um, That's left, this is straight, this is right. Here's some more timbering, let's go to the right here. Pretty good sized mine. Okay, this is just a short uh, cut that comes over to a huge shaft. Wow. Oh my gosh. That goes quite a ways down. This looks like it had a hoist in it at one time. I see the, the rails here are greased. There's a cable going up, probably a signal cable. Well, we got options here. There's, there, are, uh, there is a manway on this shaft. It's got alternating ladders. They're pretty tight though as far as the, wearing a backpack. This, this area right here is pretty narrow. I don't know, these must have been some small miners. But this does look like it's in decent shape as far as the first three. I can't see past that. Let's go back and explore more of the mine here. This intersection is just right here, only 20 feet from that big shaft. Yeah, we might as well go straight. They removed the track from this, but let's go straight and see what we see. This would be straight in from the portal. It looks like it's just another short cross cut. Let's go back to the junction. Okay, this will be taking a left on the way in. It's a right for us because we're coming out. Here's a nice wooden chute that's had a lot of use. You can tell by how weathered it is here. It's had a lot of use from rocks falling down it. There's a stove. Goes up about 20 feet. Tracks are winding around a little bit. It's like a hard right coming up. They had their track bender working on this curve. They had a thing, device similar to a pipe bender. Look at the big turds in here. Will you see all these? Yeah, remember? Look at them. Yeah, it almost resembles a tortoise, but they're a little too big for that. They're probably a cat. I know, I don't understand why a cat would be way back in this dark mine. I know they can see well in the dark, but it's just crazy. There's another big chute coming in from up above. Hold on a sec. This is clogged. 
Pretty heavy duty though. And then there's another big chute over here. What a huge boulder. Oh yeah. Look at that. You better get your drill out to drill that one before it's coming down the chute. Looks like some water and mud has flowed in this area from outside. We'll take a look back at that chute. It's got some interesting timbering above it. A mismatch of timbering. Track picks up again. Hard curve to the left. Another one back to the right. Take a carbide top. Pick that up once we do. Flip it over. Is that the handle on it? Yeah, that's a carbide uh, can. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's it. Here's a muck sheet, and that's the face of this drift. Their last shot, they never even finished taking it off the muck sheet, which is an old piece of boilerplate, probably from an old boiler that they flattened out and use it as a muck sheet. All right, let's go back and go down one of those ladders. What do you think? Sounds good. All right, see you back at the ladders. So we're going to go down this ladder and we're going to use our rope. I have no idea how good this ladder is. I'm going to make sure to tie a knot on the end of my rope before you repel or use it as a safety. I'm just going to use a barrel knot, which you can do with your hand. Wrap around a couple times. Come back through. Leave about a foot on the tag end. Okay, now can you shine your, can you shoot down here? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna. I've got my rope flaked into this bag, which means it's just carefully set in there, and it should deploy on its own. We only got part way down there. I'll have to straighten it out when I get down there. All right, down we go. So far the ladder is decent shape. Good. There's some wire sticking here. Ouch. Okay, I haven't come that far down the ladders. They're not in awful shape. I'm probably, I don't know, 50 feet down. So we've intersected this big shaft that we were looking at from above. And I don't really see a working level, although we're going to be into that shaft again over here. So I'm hoping this piece doesn't fall off. It looks like it kind of wants to. <laughs> So, let's go a little further, we'll get down on this platform and we'll look further down the shaft. This is not a working level yet. And the ladder runs out right here. Looks like there might be a working level down below us here.
Julie's going to come down. Don't stand underneath that thing that's about to slough off, though. Where? Right this big thing behind you. That whole thing. I mean, I'm not saying it's about to, but it could. Okay, let's see if we can get down a little bit lower here. Trying not to lose any of my gear here. I got a lot of stuff clipped on me. <laughs> Your backpack, go forward a little bit. Yeah, I know, I'm just leaning back on it for now. Okay. Clear? Yep. Your pack's going to want to hit a little bit. Okay. You got it. I'm clear? Yep. Not easy, but it's not even, it's part rappel and part rock crawl. And yeah, there's a bunch of depth over there to your left. Yeah, I see it. So over here is like a big um, stove with several stoves. And I don't want to fall down there. There's a shovel. Well, it looks like there's a working level down here. I see track and I see a shovel. Could be kind of interesting. There's a platform up here that they use to stand on to, to chisel and drill and all the other things they do. There's a big chute down there. Are we on anything real sharp here now? Not terrible? Not terrible. Almost down there. Okay. <laughs> Where are you down there? back underneath here. <laughs> Get your gloves on? Yeah. Hey, let's go straight down now. Try not to slip with your feet. You alright? Not very graceful, but I did it. You made it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's an old shovel, an old flat shovel. Looks like it's cracked. Mm -hmm. So let's want to go down this way. There's another shovel head with no handle on it. Uh, that looks like a round shovel. You want to grab it once? That's a big old round shovel in it. Mm -hmm. They're heavy too, aren't they? Those yeah, old ones. Yeah, it's heavy. The old shovels are, are extra heavy duty. All right, let's explore this way a little bit. I see the track winding around a little bit. This mine's a little bigger than I thought. I looked down the shaft from here and it went down quite a ways, although I believe it's it's kind of blocked on this level. I'm not sure to be able to get down there. Yeah, 
and little cave area. There were some pretty heavy duty earthquakes here about two years ago in 2020 and could have done some of this stuff. What do you see? Well, where it stops right here. I'll, do, I'll double check it. Julie says it stops here. We'll go a little closer. This looks like it's backfilled, doesn't it? Yeah. Rather than caved. We'll go over and look at the shaft for a second. Clackety clackety. Oh, there's a bat. That's a pretty big bat. Here's looking up at a stope. We came down through that other side of it. There's some timbers in there. I'm not sure what this was. Back to our rope. Julie's Grigri hanging there. Here's this big chute. Got a broom. Oh, is there a broom? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Watch, they're dusty. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Just let me watch again. Okay, let's go over towards the shaft. Here's this, here's this chute. Fairly plugged. I am an angled timbering strategy here and some gobbing. They've gobbed this whole wall up here. Here's an old, looks like an empty Hylex jug and a, an old gold pan. Look at that. Can you pick that up? Is it heavy? Yeah. Did the frying pan turn over? Mm -hmm. Here's some more cans. There's a, uh, I don't know what that was. It's got a design of some sort on it. And there's a gallon can. Here's a piece of rail. There's some dynamite box. There's a, uh, is that Hercules? Yeah. And a cloth bag. Some cardboard boxes. This is over at the shaft there. I wonder what these things are. They're leather. What would that be hanging on their leather? ID tag maybe? So this shaft keeps going down. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm standing on here. There's a trap door here for the ladders. Let's see. Where? Right there. He's, he's just right below there. Okay. He's big. Yeah, that was a big bat. I saw him earlier. The ladder goes down a little ways. Boy, nobody's had this door open for a while. It still works, though. And this shaft does go down a long ways. Another big chute that came in right there. And yeah, there's a big bat that wants to come out of this hole. I don't know what I'm standing on. I can't see down there. But... Let's see. Let's see. Okay, I was able to see down that shaft. It looks like it goes about another 50 feet. I didn't see much down there. 
Um, I wonder what that big thing was for, that big stool. Anyway, Julie's on to the next section here. Got to climb over this gobbing pile. Well, I don't think anybody's been down here for a while. A coffee can. Oh, there's a coffee can? MJB. An MJB can, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> sure enough is. And an old pail. Galvanized pail. And a junction here. Let's follow the one to the right. There. Looks like it goes a little ways. Yeah, just a little ways. It smells sulfury in here, doesn't it? Yeah. Very sulfury. Mm -hmm. Is that a what is it, a pack of camels? Camels. Does it have a date on that stamp? Sometimes you can see a date on it. And then here's the face of this one. This is some strange looking stuff here, isn't it? All right, let's go back and see if the other way goes anywhere. I don't think this is a massive mine. I mean, the, the waste pile wasn't that big. It's already been bigger than I figured it was going to be. Judging from the waste pile, there's one of their stakes that they use to hang their ventilation off of. There's a bunch of jumbled up track. And judging from Julie stopping here, it's there's not a broom, though. doesn't go very far. Yep, and here's the face of this drift. That's it. Another broom full of rat poop. Well, I don't think we can go any lower. So, back out it is, I guess. There's a piece of fuse. Right there. Kind of a neat little room here, though. Must have been the the main hoisting level. Oh, this does go down lower and that cable keeps going, which I'm thinking might have been a a, a call pull to, to signal the operator. So maybe there is another level. I don't know how we would get there. There's the top of a cigarette box. More fuse cord. Let's see what this box is. There's a big bat down that hole. He keeps wanting to come up here. I really want to meet him. Canned food. Something star. So the tracks came right over here where I'm standing and then there was this gate here that they would have opened and the skip bucket would have come right to this level so they could have dumped the cars right into the directly into the skip. I peeled up these burlap sacks and there's an Atlas tube uh, box underneath there as in tire tubes. It looks like it's practically come off the showroom floor. <laughs> we'll put that back under where it was. It was under here. I was trying to see what was written on these things, but I can't tell. All right, let's see if we can make our way out of here. We'll put that back the way it was. Julie took a little whipper on that first one. She's jugging up the line. 
your pack might want to hit a little bit, but okay. we're hoping that stall holds out over there. It hasn't moved yet. We decided we don't want to spend the night down here, so we have to climb out. You're doing good. Here comes Tom up the rope. Jogging. Jogging. Pack's about to hit. That was scrapey. Yeah, that was scrapey. Good job there, Sunny Jim. Ooh. Yeah, Sunny Jim. Same to you. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. We're back up to basically the bottom of the ladders here. I noticed up above me here a board with a date on it in minor soot. It says, from the best I can tell, December 19th, 1930 something. I can't tell for sure, like 1930. Two or three. It looks like it starts the same as a three does. Anyway, hard to say, but 1930 something. So we made it back up to here. Uh, let's go the rest of the way up the ladder. There's a blue Dr. Pepper can. It's kind of old. It's got the pull top. But what was the blue Dr. Pepper? Mm -hmm. There's the death pit right here. There's at least one big jackrabbit. And probably some more stuff. Rats. Well, I just came up this little ladder here. This chute kind of got my, piqued my interest. I'm going to see where it goes. Not in the greatest shape, but it might just go right here. Good job. We are heading out. We made it up the ladders. We didn't have any issues. Got our rope back. Sometimes your rope gets snagged up and you gotta go back down and unsnag it. But that didn't happen. And we're just about out. Scraping our way out. Here's a nice little cabin still standing. Pretty square even. Missing a couple windows. There's another one that's flattened. I see a gable end poking out to the left there. Let's go take a closer look at this little guy. They used old flattened uh, fuel cans for roofing. I wonder why the window has such a big frame if it had like a... I see their screen there and I wonder if it had like a sliding glass pane. I'll bet you it did. Because there's the glass pane down on the ground broken. I'll bet you the glass would slide open that way. Let's go around the other side. And this window is the same way. I bet you it had a screen and then the sliding glass pane. Oh, watch out, I don't get bit by a rattlesnake. Walking around these bushes.
Look at they use old cam tops to uh, fill the gap in the flooring, the wood floor. The miners were resourceful. There's the screen door. I just pasted it up. It's about 12 by 16. Looks like sugar boxes that they used partially for lining the walls. A lot of bones in there. Yeah, C and H sugar. And there's also some purity French bakery and macaroni factory from Reno. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, here was the old cot. That's still here. Look at the cot frame. A folding cot. Still there. That little square uh, galvanized little tank or something. I suppose maybe to hold some water in. Okay, that's that. Just unearth a little bottle in the wash. It's got a cap on it still. Glass bottle. I can't see if it says anything on the bottom. It's not full of gold. This is probably the outhouse. And the can dump, of course. There's a lizard. Hi, how are you? I can't bend down that far. He's almost tame. I always see a lot of milk cans like this one. Condensed milk. Usually pretty fun going down a wash. You always seem to run across something that's halfway interesting. We made it back to the Jeep. Now all we have to do is drive down this rocky canyon and we'll be back to happy hour. So, Julie and I thank you for watching the video. We appreciate it as always and we will see you on our next adventure. See you later. Thanks for watching.